hi youtube welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is cameron so today i have it like cute quick fun video for you guys i'm just gonna do yet another q a video so it's only gonna be nine questions just for you guys to get to know me a little better i did like two q a's in like one month back in february and i said i wasn't gonna do another one until like july and so here we are in july so i thought why not do another q a so before we get into this video make sure to like comment subscribe share the video and without further ado let's get into this video so my first q a question is have i ever talked to anyone famous i've seen like a few famous people i've seen kanye west i've seen ron artus i've seen rashawn fagan i actually skyped trey songs one time he's not gonna remember this at all this was like 12 years ago my friend had his skype i think he was giving out because he was talking to his fans on there and she got it and one day we were in my room and she like called him just like for a joke we didn't actually think it was gonna be him and he literally answered he answered it like we saw his face there like on the screen it looked like he was in a kitchen or something like he was there it was crazy but we didn't say anything like because we were so shy we started screaming and we just hung up like nobody said anything he probably thought we were weird even if we didn't hang up on him he would have hung up on us once he found out we were like 10 years old because at the time he was like what 24 or something obviously would have been weird and super inappropriate for a 24 year old to be talking to two 10 year old girls on skype that was a crazy moment that was crazy oh and i've seen diddy and kelly rolling too saw them at uh macy's yeah i saw them too but i've never actually spoken to a famous person no. Question number two, have I ever prank called someone? Me and my friends used to prank call so many people when we were younger. We were talking about like middle school age. If I had your number and I didn't know you that well, I prank called you for sure. And we would let my brother prank call them. And my brother, he's crazy. He would just say the most random dumb things. I remember I had a sleepover with one of my friends back in high school. Prank called so many guys like for a full like hour or two. Like was just prank called guys that she had in her phone or that the other girls had in their phone. Just prank called them and it was hilarious. Hilarious. But I don't do that anymore. I definitely don't do that anymore because I've cleansed my phone. I don't have random people's numbers in my phone anymore. Me and my friends were heavy on that back in middle school, like early high school, for sure. Right. Question number three. Has there been a time where I had a crush on someone and they didn't like me back? I haven't had a crush on anybody in like the longest time, but like I think I've had a crush on maybe like nine or 10 guys in my life. And did they like me back? I think they did like me back. Maybe not like a full blown serious crush. At least a little bit of interest there for sure. Because you know, some people when they have a crush, they're more like don't want to talk if i like you i'm really want to talk to you i'm really talkative around you I feel like when you're like that sometimes with a guy i can make a guy like feel a little closer to you and like you more because it's like oh well she's fun to talk to it makes the feeling mutual kind of sort of not really maybe question number four what is my favorite type of car my favorite type of car is all white jeep wrangler it's just so like amazing and beautiful to me like i'm gonna get that car one day it's my favorite car and i like all white jeep wagons too i think it's such a cute pretty car i love it all white jeep wrangler pink trimming on the inside maybe that sounds ghetto but i'm gonna make it look cute i can make it look cute for sure that's my favorite 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 type of car and of course i love kias coming by so that's what i have now a kia question number five do i consider myself to be an introvert or extrovert so i've always known that i'm an introvert i don't know as i'm getting older i'm leaning slightly leaning towards the extrovert i mean not fully maybe like the less than like 10 percent i'm definitely like i like my me time i like to have my alone time i like to just be in my cameron space for sure but i really like going out i like being around friends i like talking to people now strangers ugh, i don't know depends on what we're talking about really enjoy going out not every single night now i don't love last minute plans depending on what the plans are and who it's with i said in my truth about being an introvert on college campus that i'm a social introvert maybe that means i'm more like i am never it means like a mix between introvert and extrovert so maybe i'm leaning more towards that the meyer birth personality test it said i'm an introvert i think if i took that again i probably would get different results maybe i really like going out i mean not like to clubs and stuff but like i just like hanging out I like going out to restaurants I like going to the movie i like going to my friend's apartment i like just sitting in the car with my friends i like going to zumba with my friends i like stuff like that i like being around people i don't like it if i'm in the house for too many days I wake up, it's like, okay, what can I do today? Where can I go today? I like to chill. I like to chill, but what can I do today? Like, what activity can I do? But some days you just want to lay in the bed and not do anything and just be chill. But other days you just want to be fun and be active and do stuff. 
I think I'm just now realizing as I'm answering this question that I'm an introvert, but as I'm getting older, I'm leaning towards the extroverted side. Question number six, what is my favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Red Lobster. I love Red Lobster. And seafood isn't even my favorite food. Steak's my favorite food, but Red Lobster, like it has steak, but I probably wouldn't order that because it'd probably be dry. The best biscuits, the best bread you could ever taste in life is from Red Lobster. It's, ugh. It's so good. I used to get fried shrimp when I was younger, but I don't eat fried food anymore. But now I get salmon. Actually, I'm lying. The last time I went there, I went there for my grandma's birthday. I got salmon and a sirloin, and it was good. It wasn't dry. It wasn't dry. I'm lying. I've, I've had a steak there before. It was so good. Red Lobster is my favorite restaurant. It's my favorite restaurant for sure. Question number seven. Do I like to celebrate my birthday? Yes, I like to celebrate my birthday. I really love my birthday. I get excited for my birthday. I get excited when it hits December, and I know it's getting closer and closer to my birthday. The only problem is that I never know how to celebrate my birthday or what to do. Which sucks because I live in California, so you would think I would know all these things to do, but I don't. And I don't have anybody to really like celebrate with. I need more friends. I just need like more friends just to have like more people to do really fun activities with for my birthday. So this year I'm turning 23. I need to do something. I don't know what I want to do for my birthday. I really wish I could do a whole bunch of stuff for my birthday, but I don't have a whole bunch of people to do it with. So I don't know. Question number eight. Am I a quiet person? I was really shy when I was a kid really quiet and that was really around adults because adults made me nervous when i was a kid like super nervous but when i got around kids like my own age no i wasn't quiet mm, i wasn't loud but i would talk i wasn't quiet at all and like pretty much all throughout middle school high school i was pretty quiet yeah but i wasn't as quiet as i was when i was a kid okay so if you meet me for the first time and we're in a group setting there's a lot of people that i don't know but yeah i might be a little quiet you might think i'm kind of quiet and it depends how comfortable i am like if you ever had a class with me ever you would probably think oh she doesn't talk she's really quiet but in real life i'm like kind of the opposite like i'm not quiet at all like if you get to know me like for real for real and we become like close you become my friend or if you just like spend enough time with me i'm not quiet at all like i'm really really talkative i almost talk too much probably like i can say one thing after the next after the next after the next after the next i talk a bunch and i'm a screamer i just found that out i scream a lot i'm kind of loud not loud like i just be talking loud but like like sometimes if something like shocking happens i might scream like in real life i'm not quiet really talkative really silly i joke around a lot i scream that's me who i really really am and you probably don't even get that vibe at all if you just watch my videos and you don't know me in person you are probably be like what like you don't seem like that at all yeah that's how i am in real life if you meet me and get to know me for sure that's how i am some people think that i'm really quiet and i don't really say much but that couldn't be like further from the truth right, last question question number nine if i had a time machine what year would i travel back to if i had a time machine i would travel back to the year of 1990. i want to go back to baton rouge louisiana southern university to be specific i would just want to hang out with my parents which probably sounds lame but i love my parents i love hanging out with my parents they're great so imagine me now and them in their senior year of college in 1990 we would just hang out and have the best time me my mom and my dad if i could travel back in time and go to that year and meet them we would be best friends like they would love me for sure that would just be like the best just to hang out with them and hang out with all their friends and just see what the atmosphere and the culture was like back then in 1990 that would be really like fun for me that's the year I would want to go back to. Which probably sounds weird. Maybe that sounds weird. Southern University, 1990. So I can be with my parents. That would be so fun. That would be like the most fun thing, literally. Me and my parents back then, like even now, but especially back then, we would have the best time. Especially me and my dad, because we pretty much have like the same personality in a lot of ways. So I know that we would be like the closest for sure. So that's the end of my video. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know down below some of your guys' answers to the questions that I asked in this video. And don't forget, you're not going to get a video from me on Friday. As I said, it my previous video on july 1st that i'm only posting videos once a week every tuesdays at 5 p.m pacific time so you won't see me again until next tuesday july 12th 5 p.m pacific time don't forget to like comment subscribe share the video turn on notifications to be notified whenever i post a new video i love you guys so much if you made it to the end of this video and i'll see you guys next time bye